What is the best way to back up your Lightroom Classic catalog? I'll show you a couple of ways that will keep all your catalogs safe and secure. Making backups for Lightroom Classic, coming up. Hi, I'm Terry Vanner, I'm a professional photographer, and today I'm gonna to show you several ways that you can make secure backups for your Lightroom catalog. Now, if you're working on a laptop, and keeping your Lightroom Classic catalogs on your main drive, you could be asking for trouble. If you drop your laptop or if it gets left behind or if someone steals it, you and your photographs will never again spend time together. If you work on a standalone computer, like in an office or something like that, and you keep everything on your main drive, that you're also taking a risk. Hard drive crashes happen all the time. However, you can prevent it by simply making a backup. Now, when it comes to Lightroom Classic, there's an option that can back up your catalog right from the program. Let me show you how that works. All right, we're inside of Lightroom Classic and we have this thing called here a sample catalog. So we just made a sample catalog through a couple of images into it. And what you wanna do is you wanna set up your system for doing the backups. So if we pull down here on the Mac, if we pull down Lightroom Classic, we're gonna to get to Preferences, which is where you probably would think this should reside, but it doesn't. If you go down one more to Catalog Settings, that's where you're gonna get this information. So under General here, under the General tab, you have a thing that says Backups, and it says Backup the Catalog, and you have a decision to make. You can back it up once a month, once a week, once a day, or every time Lightroom exits. So that's what we're gonna do in this case. We're gonna do it at every time Lightroom exits. Then we just close that, and we go about our business, do any editing that we're gonna be doing. And now let's say we're done for the day and we're gonna quit. So we go up to Lightroom Classic here on the Mac, we pull down, go to Quit Lightroom Classic, or of course you can do the shortcut, which is Command Q on the, Mac or control Q on the PC. We click that and look, this dialog comes up, the backup dialog comes up. And again, we have that same set of options here where we can tell it when we wanna back it up. So we've left it on every time Lightroom exits. And the next thing down here is we have to choose where we wanna put our backups. So let's go ahead and click choose and we'll put them in a folder we'll call backups and we'll put it in the same folder that we have our regular images in. You can put it somewhere else. You could put it to a cloud service. You could put it uh, in a folder, uh, a removable drive. You can do whatever you want with it, but be consistent so you can find it. And then we're just gonna hit choose. And then when we go there, this is our backup that comes up. We've already set this. We may never need to change that again. And then we just hit backup. And Lightroom real quickly backs up then shuts down. So let's go in there and just take a look at what we got here. Open up this folder. And this is where our catalog resides. So it's called sample. And this is the folder that has our images. Those are all those pictures of the dogs in there. So that's everything that's in there. And we go into backups and we look and we double click on the folder that it made. It put the date and time on it. And it came in as a zip file. So a little bit easier storage. So let's go ahead and open that up. And there we have it. And we have under here, we have Lightroom catalog and we have sample uh, Lightroom catalog data. Okay, so let's go in here and let's just right click and we're gonna get info to see how big this is. And the size of this is 1.9 megs. So 1.9 megs is what this size of this catalog is. And let's go back here and let's just take a look at our sample catalog here and we're gonna right click and get info on that and look at that, 262 megs. So that's quite a bit larger. And the reason it's larger is that it's including all of the original images. That's what's in that folder. Where in the backup folder, it's just the catalog. Just the catalog, not the images. You see there's no folder that says 2024. So when you're backing up, through the system in Lightroom to back up your catalog, you're only backing up the information of your catalog. So that's gonna give you, uh, if you've made collections, it'll keep all those collections in order. If you've, if you've randomly, if you put your images in a particular order or random, it's gonna keep track of all that for you. So that's what 
the backup does. So it's a pretty small file. So you can easily store it anywhere, but that's your actual catalog backup. It doesn't include your images. So let me pose a question to you. What do you think is the most valuable part of your Lightroom catalog? Is it the organization where you've placed everything in collections? Or is it the development work that you've done on your images, the, the exact mass that you made that was perfectly in place? Even though all of those things are nice, the most important part of the catalog are the original images. Without those images, you basically have nothing at all. The Lightroom backup that's created through Lightroom is created to just create the catalog, not the original images are backed up in that system. Only the catalog is backed up. So let me show you how to really back up your catalog and your images. If you're enjoying this kind of content, hit the like button. Also be sure to subscribe to this channel and ring the little bell icon to be reminded of my next video. I always read and respond to all the comments in the comment section. So feel free to leave me a comment, a suggestion or a question, and I'll get back to you. Now, if you'd like to contact me directly via email, my address is terry at imagelight.com. I'll answer your questions and add you to my mailing list so you can be alerted of my next video release that way. The Lightroom catalog should be backed up from time to time, but don't be mistaken that your images are also being backed up because they're not. In order to back up your images properly, you'll need a separate drive or drives to hold your original images. So here are some ways to do it. One way to back up your images is to load them up to a cloud drive. I don't do that because I don't want to spend the time uploading large raw files and the expense of paying a monthly fee for a cloud backup. But keep in mind, my full-time job is a professional photographer, so I generate a lot of images, much more than the average person. So maybe cloud storage is a good option for you. But let me show you how I do backups. So what the way I work is I have these things which are called RAIDs. This is made by Promise. Uh, this is pretty beefy, bigger than most people are going to need. But this has eight drives in this, in this container. And so each drive is a typical hard drive that you normally are probably familiar with. And what that does is the RAID drive is plugged into my computer and it acts as one simple drive, just one drive. Now, in this case, this is 64 terabytes because all of eight, eight of these hard drives make up that much size. And what happens is you plug it into your computer and it goes directly into this as a single drive. But what's unique about it is that it takes the information that you're putting in there and divides it between all of these drives. So the way that is a safety measure is that if one of these drives happen to croak, I can just open it up, pull it out, replace it with another drive. And then when I put it back in, the program inside is going to start rebuilding all that information. And then I'm not going to lose any, any information. It recreates it for me. So on this drive of eight drives, I'm distributing all of the information over little pieces into each drive and directions of where everything gets put back together. So it's really a neat way to go. It also makes, you won't notice it on shooting stills, but if you're doing video, you'll notice that things go a little bit faster because it's taking information off of eight drives and bringing it in. It's not just doing one drive to find all of your information. So this is what I use, not for everybody, they're expensive. This is probably, I think today, $5,200, something like that. And of course, these drives, in my case, don't last forever. So I need to replace them because I fill them up. So that's an additional expense. But for the average person, this is not necessarily the way to go. But if you do shoot a lot of images, then this is a great way to go because you're very safe in spreading out your information over eight drives. Now, a much more economical way to do things, and one that I usually recommend to my students of, of Lightroom of how to actually do backups, is to use little additional drives. Now these are solid state drives, so there's no spinning parts in it. I find them to be really secure, but no hard drive is completely secure. So this is how I actually do things. I will actually load and suggest for people to load their complete catalog onto a drive. And then what happens is, let me show you this in how things work in a backup so you can see how this works. So I'm gonna plug these two in and let me 
uh, show you how this works. All right, so what we're going to do is going to do a simple import of some images. Let's go ahead and do that. Click import. And we're going to go into the Nikon Z9 and we see all these images here. So we don't need all of them imported. So let's go ahead and click here and we'll come down to this one. Hold the shift key down so they're all highlighted and click the little checkbox so that's unchecked. And we'll do the same here. Click down to the end and click that little box. So now we're just gonna import just these few here. Now, before we do import, one of the things that we wanna do is we wanna make a second copy. So if you look over here under file handling, make a second copy. So let's go ahead and tell it where we wanna make a second copy to. So let's go ahead and choose folder. And we're gonna go into one of our drives, one of our transfer drives, and we'll just make a new folder here and we're just gonna call this backup images. We'll hit create and we're going to tell it that's where we want our images to go. So the images then are going to go when we're bringing them in, they're going to come into our regular catalog, which is in this case resides on the desktop, but it also is going to back the images up to this additional drive, additional hard drive that we have here. So let's go ahead and do import. So it runs that in, it starts putting, populating the catalog, putting those images into the catalog, making the standard previews like we usually do. And this gives us an opportunity to use our drive, use our system the way we would wanna use it, do any kind of development that we wanna do because all the images are now loaded into Lightroom. But let's go in here and take a look and we see our backup images. It tells us when they were imported, and there they all are. Those are the original images. And if you scroll down, you'll see it's just the images. It's not the whole catalog. It's not any of that stuff. It's just the, whole, just the images. Now, this is a really safe way and a good system to work in if you have two drives to begin with. Now, this is a really good system for backing up your images. You're not backing up your catalog, you're backing up your images. So now, should you have a crash on that original drive, then you just have your images. You're gonna have to back that up. You know, you'll have to re-import those. You'll have to uh, go through and categorize them and do any development you're gonna do because you'd lose all that if your first drive crashed, right? But it is a great way to keep those images safe because they are the most important part of your catalog. So another way to make a good backup of your files is to duplicate your drives. So for instance, generally, I'm gonna suggest people put their whole entire catalog with images and everything on one drive, and then this will be a backup. Now we used it earlier when we were doing just moving images over there, but this will give us the ability to duplicate this drive onto this drive. Let me show you how that works. All right, so we're inside the desktop. This is a Mac. You're going to have other programs that are going to be able to do the same thing for the PC. And it's just simple duplication of a drive. So I use a program called SuperDuper. And it's right here. We'll bring it up. And we can see here that you it's, it's really basic how this works. And it's not a terribly expensive program. I want to say it's like $30 or something. And what it does you take your drive that you wanna record from. So we're gonna record from A and we're gonna record to B. So we're gonna duplicate A onto the drive B. So you have those two drives, they're identical drives, identical size, one's empty, one has a file on it, files on it. So let's go ahead and click copy now. And what it does ask you to give you permission to make sure that everything is put in, telling you you want it, you're gonna erase that drive B when you go through this copy. So do we wanna do that? And the, and the answer is yes, we do wanna copy. So then we start letting it go. So that's a small catalog. The catalog has you know, six or eight images in it that are full raw images. It also has the catalog itself. It has some direction to it. And so it's gonna transfer and copy those two drives so they're identical when we're done here. So it just takes a little bit, doesn't take much time. We're just gonna register it later. And you can see here that we've copied everything in that amount of time. It took 20 seconds to do that whole drive. So we'll say, okay, and we're gonna skip this for now. And now we come in here, we got our drive A that had our LRC catalogs in it. We had our uh, um, sample catalog. Remember we had the file here that had 
the pictures of the dogs, everything's in there. Let's go into B and we see it says LRC catalogs. It has the samples. It has our files of the same thing. So it copies everything identical. And what's really cool about this program is, so if you got a huge catalog, it's gonna take some time to do that first initial duplication. But going forward, what it does is it just says, oh, I'm gonna only add the things that are due. So that the updates to that are much faster. So if you only load like 10 or 15 images one time, it's only gonna take a few seconds to duplicate that file again, because it'll go through and say, oh, that's already there. So we're just gonna add these things to it. So then you end up with two drives that are identical. And that's a really pure backup because you've got your main drive that you work on, and then you have your backup drive that's identical to it. And that's a really great way to go. The only thing you have to do is you have to remember to back that up on some sort of regular basis. So that's everything I know about backups. Hopefully you learned something that's gonna help you with your backups and keeping your images safe, which is really the thing you wanna take from this, is keep your images safe by duplicating them at least somewhere else on a different drive. All right, see you next time.